guys, Jill here, and I want to show you my finished mini. This is using Pink Paisley Butterfly Garden Collection. Um, the papers, the embellishments, for everything that I used in this was pretty much from that new release. And it is a kit that is going to be available from Roxy at Your Paper Pantry. I'm putting a link to the group below. And Roxy here on YouTube is Roxy Fur, just like it sounds R O X Y F U R. And I'll put a link down there too. But the only thing I didn't use in this from the Butterfly Garden collection was the stamps. So I've shown you the cover and just, you know, really briefly again, the papers in the background. I show you how I attach it in video one. I use some Tim Holtz Crackle Meat paint, not medium paint, on the edges, as well as just the white snow cap ranger paint. The binding is very simple. I didn't think I was going to use those again, but I used the D-rings. Something about this top note ornamental shape, it's really hard to get regular binding rings in it. And I have two different size circular ones, actually three different, and none of those worked. So I ended up going with the D-rings again and I attached one of the butterflies and I kind of aged it just a little bit by putting the white paint on it and then rubbing it off right away so it's just not so stark. I did some seam binding that I just crinkled up and colored with bundled sage and sponge sugar and those are all distress ink colors. I'm not sure, I think I might have just used the reinkers or the dab or something, probably the reinkers. Okay, and then the alpha, again, is from that collection. I covered it with the crackle paint, leaving a little bit of the green showing through. This paper was really easy to create with because it didn't need a lot added to it. And then here's the butterfly from the collection. Some little tiny roses from I Am Roses, a leaf back there, Recollections Flower. And I put some diamond dust on that. And just some Recollections Brad's halfback pearls over some lace. And I'm going to skip showing this. Well, I'll just show you each one because they're all the same. The backs I made for a photo and the idea is you could put in some pictures and then journal those on the opposite page. This isn't for tons of photos, maybe just a special occasion, you know, something you just want a few photos for. So I used punches on these and I showed that and then I topped that off with the, one of the stickers from the sticker collection. This is page two and I used a rose from the ephemera pack and all of the backs I'm not going to get into because I already showed you they're all crackled with the paper. This is some of the rub-ons. I really like the rub-ons. I will tell you I use the entire sheet of rub-ons. <laughs> As are some rub-ons down here. And I just thought it was really plain when you open it. And then this is the Tim Holtz butterfly die. And it's Flight of Fancy or something flight. And I just used some of the scraps of the paper, obviously a pink and a green, cut out that. And I did do the pink image on chipboard, and then I applied some adhesive with my little Xyron sticker maker, and stuck down the top piece, and then put the diamond dust where, and it stuck to just the remaining sections. And with this, I just inked it up with crystal accent, crystal Jeez, I'm going to do this again, aren't I? Glossy accents. <laughs> and I used one of the, the lighter papers and put that on chipboard. And I cut the body a little, you can see, but it was just too fat to be on the side like this. Then I used some of the spots from the ephemera pack. I cut those down. And then I'm just sticking those under the wing. Again, some great journaling spots there. And I had it so much prettier before. <laughs> I took it all apart. But I kind of fanned them out. And I kind of liked her peeking out there. So I put her on the top. Okay. Again, the same on the top. Just some of the paper. And everything's been spritzed with the Perfect Pearls in Heirloom Gold. No, Sunshine 
yellow or something like that. I, again, I tell you in the first video. More rub-ons on this page, and I think this might be my favorite page, and it didn't start out that way. <laughs> so this is one of the wood shapes from the collection. There's four of them in a package. They're all different, and I really like them. And I used my Ranger dabbers on them, the Distress Ink. And here's one, so the Distress Stain. And I used sponge sugar along the top and a lot of it. I just kept applying it. I used some of the faded jeans in the middle. And then I'm not sure of that green. I don't have it right on top. Hold on one sec. <laughs> Sorry, peeled paint. <laughs> and then they were really bright colors. So again, I just took my dabber and I smeared over it until some of that color went away. And again, it got that shabby chic look to it. I used some more of my glossy accents and applied diamond dust over top of it and that dulled it enough and gave it that vintage look. The flowers, I did the same exact way. I used all the scraps and used those same punches that I showed you before to go ahead and make some extra flowers because it just looked like the butterfly was kind of floating there. So with the flowers, it looks more finished. See, this is why I hate these stupid D-rings. They frustrate me. But like I said, it was the only thing. Jeez. Give me a sec here. The wing is catching. And I don't know how to remedy that because that's going to happen no matter what. Okay. Well, let's do it that way for now because we can't get it open with the ring. This was my favorite top page because it has the little bird cages in it. The same as before. This one, again, I used the rub-ons in the back. I used a tiny little envelope die that I got from Sizzix, scalloped envelopes. I held it closed with some baker swine, and I believe that's from the Soiree collection. Um, hmm. Daily Junk, sorry. And that again is Pink Paisley. This is a Brad from Making Memories and it just tied in nicely. Then I used some of the pieces from the ephemera pack, again for some journaling spots if you want to use those all. And that same flower that I used up here because that corner just seemed kind of empty. And there's the top page on this one. Same again idea. And then this is the last page. This was a coin envelope and I went ahead and I showed you before how I was going to do it but I covered it with the paper. It was a really light piece of paper so I used the rose rub-on and la rose on this. The background has some rub-ons on it too peeking out from behind the envelope and you can see that. And then the lace that I used on the binding I also used here and then one of the babbles. I wanted to incorporate more of these into this book but I think this would be more appropriate for a chunkier mini. So I also did a little tag and I just double sided the paper, stuck it together with my glue stick and ran it through the Tim Holtz die which is mini tickets and then I put some lace. I just pushed a hole here on the edge of the ticket where it's perforated. You can see that perforation. Put the lace through and then use my tiny attacher to staple it on and it slips right back in here. Now you could have made you know, quite a few of those and you can actually adapt this mini to hold more pictures, but I just really wanted something that the paper was the main focus of because I love this paper. And these D-rings are gonna be the death of me. But I might just end up taking those off and binding it with ribbon because look how much I'm struggling with this. The points are all stuck together. Okay, I'm just going to do it this way. So there you have it. It is the Butterfly Garden Mini with the Pink Paisley Collection, and the kit is available through Roxy. 
So contact her through one of the methods that I'm showing you below if you're interested in this paper collection. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.